So we got truffle room 23. Now I'm missing the, the white pair. You got the say, white pair? You going after the white pair still? They they like almost two thousand dollars. Yeah. Remember when these were like two fifty and nobody wanted them? I got those from the trophy room people for were, retail. Yeah, people yeah. were sleeping. And the 17. Even the 17s, people weren't really going crazy for it. And now they're like, what, 700 or something like that? Those go hard, though. That's suede on there. These I mean, is crazy. That's mean. This is a beautiful shoe, too. 16s, DJ Khaled. You mm -hmm. want the, you got the uh, Cell 5. Do you like those? Or are you just more like this color more? That's the only color I have. Okay. I couldn't, I couldn't find the Cell color. So still on the hunt? Yeah, still on the hunt for that. Okay. Yep. In fact, Joe sent me these. Dope. Crazy story with that is he had me on his live during the pandemic. Okay. I didn't even know he followed me. I didn't know he knew nothing about me. He was like, man, I've been following you for years. I know who you are. And him and Mayor sent those to me. That's dope. I, that's a pair I'll never wear. Really? I do have another pair that I bought. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a pair that I bought, um, but he sent me those. That's dope. So whenever I, he comes here, I'm gonna have him sign. Them That's dope. Whenever he comes to Michigan. Okay. Crazy story with these is Marcus sent me these. Really? Out the blue. I thought I was talking to his boy Ali. Mm hmm. And Marcus sent those to me. I was able to get the trophy room lows uh, from talking to Ali. But these are like super limited, yep. like $10,000, I believe. Uh huh. Um, the blues released their number number of pairs um i met fred jones yeah we talked and i told him the eight were my favorites and he gifted me those that's what's up and dj severe he he came over and he gave me the q riches and i was able to get quentin to sign those for me when he was a part of the big three when they came to detroit so and played dope. a little season so i met some people and they know i'm not a reseller i'm not gonna sell these shoes Rip knows about those. I got some autograph ones from Rip. I got some Michigan PEs. Mm -hmm. You know, I've just been able to get shoes um, from people who know I'm not going to resell them. Right. That makes sense. This Baggy. shoe. That, that's a class. You see it? The patent is starting to crack on that. This is a beautiful sneaker. And at oh 15. My gosh. The 15 from the Bucks is super rare. You really don't see too many of those. Around. Nah, I had the uh, East Bay pair. Do you have the? I don't have the. Uh, you actual, don't have a Bibby pair. I have the Reggie Miller pair. Reggie Miller, okay. White and navy with the uh, yeah, number and then yeah, the RM on has the back. The Ray on, yeah. Yeah, mine says RM uh, mm -hmm. on the back side, but this pair is crazy. Yeah, I just got the white and black pair. The mm. East Bay Pack pair. Mm -hmm. I just got those. Like I think I brought them with me um, to the event. Now, a crazy story with the Ray Eights. You know, the Eights are my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I had the Off White Carolina Ones. Okay. And I traded those for those. Straight for these? Yeah. Damn. There was a young kid. Uh huh. He wanted. The off whites, I wanted those. That was his hype, and this that is your was, hype. I, hey, I like it. So, uh, what you want to trade for these? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I never get rid of those. Yeah, those are hard for sure. Yeah, I never get rid of those. Those are fourteen. Yeah, actually, Ray game, Allen. actually, game worn. Ray Allen, fourteen. Rip is a fourteen. Mm -hmm. These are game worn. Like I said, against the Lakers. So you have. 32 on one side, yep. rip on the other. Yeah. And people, when they first saw them, they like, who was, was R.I.P. Who? Who, who right. died? I yep. said, oh, my God, you don't know basketball. <laughs> I feel that. What about the 85 ones? Okay. So this These, that's the before. very first ones that I bought with my own money. So 60, this is what started it all right This is right what here. started. $65. I bought this these pair. with my own money. And that band right there. And th yeah, this band is like around 85 if i remember correctly because that's the original flight logo so i would wear that with my uniform okay no matter what color uniform i was wearing like in mexico because I, I think we were yellow and black i remember i colored Ooh, it red, you know, color yeah, so that was it man still got the nike air on the inside Dope. i mean these shoes are built like tanks they're not falling you can apart still rock those too or anything and then this guy in in texas dallas mm -hmm. sam coke Gave me those, gifted this pair. me those, this pair. because the pair I had and 99 other pairs 
I had to give up to an ex-wife who I caught cheating on me with my partner on the force. Nice. She filed for divorce before me, so she got a hundred pair of my shoes. Hundred pairs? And all of my autograph memorabilia. My basketball, jersey. That's crazy. Baseball. She got all kind of stuff. Cause she went and filed before me and said the opposite of what it was. She said she called me with somebody else when it was the opposite. Backdoor Bottega. They were the only one selling. I like how you just smoothly transition into this one. Okay, yeah. all right. So yeah. Yeah, that that's in my past. I'm doing much better than that. So uh, she didn't. She thought she won, but she didn't win. So <laughs> all right, I just keep it moving. So uh, airships. Yep. This is actually really hard to find in this size. Oh, yes, more. I have 11 and a half, and I'm struggling trying to find. But a they 13. run big. 11 and a half though. They run big. I ain't tried them all. Oh, you need I, a 13. Yeah. A 12 would fit you. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. They run big. Hey, if anybody got a 12 and needs a dead stock 11 and a half straight across trade, let they me know. They run big. A 12 would fit you, guaranteed. Noted. I but never I have one. a lot of the airships you know, over, over here in these cases. Over okay. Here, so. Okay, dope. I, I'm an airship guy and I like oh, the yeah. two lows. Too. So these re one of these represent the city, right? Yep, this one right, right here. here. Yeah, represent Flint where they had that Flint water crisis. Mm -hmm. um, terrible time here where, unfortunately, people lost their lives because the water was contaminated and mm -hmm. and people ignored it. I like how they put I the like, corduroy on the front end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then these wax laces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's that? More Rip City over there. More Rip City. Rip Hamilton stuff. Yeah. Got the uh, 15, uh, 16.5. Yeah. Then you got the 22s and the 21s. That's Dope. an autograph. Game Dope. Worn. What about the 14s on there? 14s? How about that? That looks like a PE colorway. Let's see if you can guess who it is. I don't even remember who was getting these. Because I remember there was a white and yellow pair, there was a black and Not yellow. about a number. Oh! Uh, damn. I know who this is. I used to call him. Oh my gosh. You got to tell me. Michael Pietras. There we go. Oh, well, Michael Pietras. Yeah. What they used to call him though? He used to have a nickname. Ah. Uh, because he had the that was a white and yellow PE too, right? Yep. He, and then it was used these. To, they used to call. He used to have a nickname when he was with with Golden State. I can't remember his nickname. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Yeah. See. All right. Good. We both forgot something. <laughs> all right. Talk about these 13s right here. This is the the prototype. This is what Tinker had designed, but everyone thought wouldn't sell. So they went with this model instead. So this OG sample design, actual release. Mm -hmm. And then these actually came out to the public. Yes. Later. Later, yeah. Way later. A couple years ago. Yeah. Just come out. 2018. So when you hear those stories, you like get excited about this type of stuff. Yeah, because if these would have came out back in the day, 97, mm -hmm. 98. You would have been on it. Oh yeah, I'd have bought them. Yep. No question. Makes sense. I no like question. that. And I know other people would have too, because they always say, I, I, whatever MJ wore, I, I would have bought. They can't say if he didn't wear them, they wouldn't have bought them. Oregon Nines, there. Uh, oh, yep, I'll let you get into that, because I didn't even notice that. You know who this is. That's Eddie Jones. Yep. Yeah. The Grizzlies. Yep. Yeah, those are clean. Autograph. See, this was the era where you could get these type of PEs, and it'd be very affordable. Yeah, very, very affordable. Prices. Very affordable. Not crazy at all. I love it. Just there you go. That's what you talked about earlier, that's, right? That's it. That's what I was looking at the whole time you was talking. Right. I was just laser focused. Oh, you just want you just want to transition to I those. You ain't care focused. about these. I did, like, but I was. <laughs> this, this row is just. Go ahead, man. No, you, do your thing. No, you do your thing. Go ahead. Which you one you want to see first? Which, the Mossify? Oh my. God. Now you remember Speed Racer, right? <sighs> did you see the cartoon? Yes, yes. yes. This is remember the mock his car. Yeah. That looks like the symbol. That is. That yeah. was on his car. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I don't know if y'all think this shoe is ugly or not. Great color, what you like. I need Man. these in my life. Man, that's so cold right there. This is this is a beautiful. Then you got beautiful. And then these? The trifecta. Oh my god. The trifecta. <sighs> the zip up. Bro. Who else had these? Well see see what? You're talking about see what? Oh, oh in the football. Yep. See, Woodson had these, too. I'm thinking like Gary Payton and other stuff. No, this this was the football shoe. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. See, Woodson had, though. Now, this is what I told you earlier when 
Moss was with yeah. Jordan Brand, right? It had 84 on mm -hmm. it. So hold that one. Damn. So they retroed it and they did my man Randy wrong. And they put the <laughs> damn 23 on it. Because <laughs> he was no longer a part of Jordan Brand. What year was that? This was 2010. Man. 2010. I, I'm just trying to explain to y'all how great this time was watching randy play and the shoes on the turf and all the stuff like it was just you can't even explain how oh. dope yep. he did that not me yeah you can't See, even explain how dope long. these shoes are like just the, the time 23. yes i tried to get these sold out couldn't get them couldn't find my size i was struggling 23. See, now you're going to make me reach back. They, made them, just do they it. made them look nice. They made them look close, though. But they just didn't. They just did my man Randy wrong to me. Damn. Like other people who who used to, who were former ad, Jordan Brand athletes still get stuff. But this was a 23. Mm. This is a retro. This is a retro. Yep. That's just a new colorway. They came with a new colorway. That's that's amazing right there. I love seeing it. UCLA. Okay. This is a recent. I'm about to say they finally they got just, the they Jordan just went brand to Jordan brand yeah. last year, so they've got been getting some good the, stuff. This is the away. Yeah. And this is the home. Okay. So do you like UCLA? Or is it more like Michigan only? Or like how you go about the I'm other college more, I'm more go blue now. Yeah. I'm more go blue over anything. Okay, okay. But I, I like the colorways of that. I do, and I'm I'm a PE PE person, so I Okay, like makes sense. Mellow and PE section. And okay. if you're a golfer, these are some of the original golf shoes. Original, original. Damn. The Power 23s. Okay. Patent leather on there. I used to take, I, well, I took the taps off and wore them as, <laughs> It's like, dress slash I'm, casual shoes. Like I'm rocking yeah. these. I don't care how we gonna make it work. And now this three and a half. This is the retro of an original. This is his, his yeah. body. Yeah, yeah, body yeah. Guy. So this is the retro of the original. So there's the original of that. This one's retro. There's like a uh, white black yep. colorway. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. the uh, half and half. Oh, it's right here. Yep. The Vindicate. Vin, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't have the green. Those green, are fire. The green, yeah. These, the green suede. I, used to, I used to have these when I was a kid. Yeah. These are so and dope. There's, there's the other ones there. Vin was, Vin was dope. He just got caught up with alcohol problems. So, original. Damn. These are Roy Jones Jr. I was going to say that. Workout oh, shoes. But they used to use them as wrestling shoes. Yeah. Back in the day. This was the first. And these came out to the public. That's the first one that came out. Box and he got that yep. first shoe. That's the very first yeah. one. Yeah. And then this is a, a retro of it with the with My the bad. 3M tongue. I got excited. <laughs> Let's see that. That, that's, that's, yeah. that's the first boxing was to go see Roy Jones with them shoes on. Yeah. And you know? this is like a Jordan 5 of yeah. a boxing shoe. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Yes, sir. Yeah. Lakers. Eddie Jones. Okay. Team J. They recalled these too because people were struggling to strap them. Okay. But I kept them. I got a have black pair uh, over there. Okay. Another white pair that has Jordan on it, but this is the PE for Eddie Jones. Reggie Miller has some too. Dope. This is the Pro Quick. People will say, "What's that number six? Yeah. You this like Eddie Jones. This was a P. See, Look, the team size. Shoes back the in the day. Yes, he's, yeah. my, he's my size. But yeah. team, team our J's. Size. Our size. Our size. Yep. <laughs> he's trying to work me. He's trying to work me. <laughs> team J's back in the day used to sell just like the number J's. Yep. Yep. It's just Mike didn't start wearing Team J's until he was with the Wizards. Mm -hmm. But his teammates were. Mm -hmm. Ron Harper. You got people. the pair with the uh, band on them? Yes. Those are fire. I remember yes. the white and red, the white UNC blue. The Those are clean. Yes, sir, I do. If we don't find them, it's okay, but that was, that was a, another great one, too. Oh, boy. I moved them. Vividly remember that time. So, 
But yeah, I do have them. But also, Michigan, is it a uh, mm. baseball when he went to the Barons? Okay. <laughs> MJ special. So I have the football cleat version with the screw in bottom. Oh, nice. The same one, but from that, because uh, they dropped the baseball bottom and the football bottom. Mm -hmm. You got these? <sighs> Which one? I got the red pair. I had all of them, but then I just kept the red ones. Yeah, I like those. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one, too. And I just bought the, I, I'm, I'm never going to play right, football right. or nothing like that. I just, they, they was a, a good price, so. Hey, yeah, a lot of those used to sit. You get them on eBay or East Bay, and uh, they wouldn't be too expensive. And then now look at them, five hundred dollars, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think we're good on this side. I know you big blue over here. You got the Trunners. You got some other uh, team shoes, some higher number retros over here. Different Michigan PEs. Mm -hmm. um, is there any specific mm -hmm. Michigan PEs you're looking for right now? The fours and the threes. The fours and the threes. The eights are. I know I ain't ever gonna get the eights because they're never gonna release them. Yeah. But this, these are my non Jordans right here. Okay. Some phone posits, Kobe's. Ooh, the Shaq Gnosis. Uh, so, yeah. That's a good one. These are shoes that that I wanted back in the day, mm -hmm. but I was such a Jordan head, I never went after them. Mm -hmm. You know, like the Flight 89s. Here is the. The Chinatown Converse. Mm -hmm. I still haven't worn these. You know, I don't know if I, if I, I don't even know if I will. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just these are so dope. I just can't. I don't think so. <laughs> and then the Larry Legend Converse. Those are clean. Yeah. Then there's the ones that came in the pack that we okay. were talking about okay. earlier. These are the UNC ones. Yeah. Yep. Nylon. And then before Mike. It was Dr. J. Yeah, those are clean. And then, of course, the UNC ones from the first championship. Yep. Or his first NCAA championship, the Pro Levis. Yeah, those are fire. Hey, yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it, and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. So he's like, I got other stuff. You know I got, yeah. yeah. I'm still not diversified. And that's like, cool. It might be the smallest wall in the room, but it's, it's still a wall. <laughs> It's cool. I wanted them to be separate. I wanted them to have their own love. Mine is the same way. I got like all my J's and then I'm like, I got this little closet over here with these other brands. You know what I'm saying? Then my guy Langston Galloway gave me these. He used to play for the Pistons. So, so this is my first and only pair of Kobe's. He said, I got to okay. get you at least one pair of Kobe's. So that's that. These top tens was the last shoe I wore in college. Classic. They were Adidas. So this was the last and I haven't worn these. You was hooping in those. It broke my ankle in. Crazy. I won't even put my foot in these. I just got these because this is the last shoe it's I wore. It's crazy to think y'all was really hooping in those. Pepsi's my favorite drink. I don't drink alcohol or anything like that, so Pepsi is my favorite, so. Okay. I got these Pumas. Rocking the Pumas. You got some foam. Hey, you got some OG. You got some good foams, though. You got the Royals. You got the Coppers. Oh, yeah. I like it. The Memphis joints. Or is this a... Is this a let me see. Yeah. Those were these were limited. They yeah. um send me these. Ah. From 90, this from the 96 All-Star Yeah. Game. Yep. See the insoles? Mm -hmm. These from the 96 All-Star Game. Champ sent me these. These are dope. Yep. It's like, you know, maybe I do like I got I got a I do like phone <laughs> posits, but I just it is either Jordans or phone posits back in the day. I feel it that. Just straight Jordans. So. I feel that. Um, did you want to do any stuff over here? It's up to you. You well, know, it's, it's so much different. It's a few different other walls. Another side that people don't really care too much about, but these are some dope shoes. And very tin bottom. Comfortable. Yes. Oh my gosh. The futures. Yes. One guy, I put him on the other day, one guy, quick story, said that he used to hoop in those. I said, you was trying to break your ankle. Right. Trying to play a nose. You don't play. I don't know about hooping in them. Accolades. Yeah. Tin bottom. Yep. And it had the laser print on them. All over. Or you can get elephant print suede. Mm -hmm. 
man. I just, nice. I, I just like these. Yeah. You know, those it's, are nice. it's not something that other people would like, but I like it. Yeah. So. And then the Jumpman team post, MJ even wore these. Ooh. With the two, the two tone. Yeah. Yep. That's a good one too. These. What's the name of these again? Sorry. The Trenner Attack. The Trenner Attack. Attack. This one. Trenner Attack, Attack, Attack. These go one. crazy. Mm -hmm. If they retro these, I'd be on it. Yeah, that's sweet. I'll be on it. Mm -hmm. I'll for sure be on it if they retro these. Jordan Crushes, Jordan Trunner 11 LX. Which one? Right here. Is that good? Yeah. Kind of remind you of the 11s. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That colorway. Yeah. That that's colorway. a good one. Show me that. I like this. And they got the bubble on the back. That's clean. The Crush, white UNC blue. These go crazy, bro. Now that's my that's my third favorite color. These now here's the story I was trying to tell you about. Here's the receipt. So fire. The Shoe Fair. Okay. Anybody from Detroit? Okay. If you know, you know. This was the hidden gem. That's the store. That's the store. Okay. The Shoe Fair. Look at the date. Oh three. three. That was the that was the store, man. This thing was eighty nine dollars. Man, that's like the lost and found receipt. Yeah. It's crazy, man. When as soon as I seen it, I knew where it was from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, ooh, man, and these came out too. Remind you of the eights, right? Yeah, I remember those. <laughs> Had that little strap on there. I remember those. Yeah. <sighs> okay, on this side. The final side. Six these, rings. Six rings. The trainers. Trainers. Comfort Viz Airs. Yeah, Spiz um, Ice. Six Rings. Motorsports. <laughs> Breads, Concords. Yeah. yeah, you got a good amount. Yes, sir. This was the first one that released. Look at the cords. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when these the bread came out? Mm -hmm. The first one? Everybody was camping out for those. People try to say, nah, these were never. Yes, they were. People was these camping out for those. These were I remember. They were probably. And then, oh, some of my, this is my favorite dub mm. This colorway goes hard. Now see, again, not a fan of orange, but these look really good. That's, that's burnt orange. Okay, okay. Jordan Lights. <sighs> Such a comfortable shoe. Yeah. And they came with the pins, like the 14. Yeah, yeah. On the tongue. Man. Some of the stuff I haven't seen in a long time. Spiz Ice. So Do the right things. Used to have these. Used to rock these like crazy. Yeah. They had the, this. Oof. This is a good one too right here. Was that Country King? Kings, Kings County. Kings County. These. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man. Man. It's crazy like the subtle details of like the little etched cards the playing cards inside of the patent leather like i don't know if you can see it or not but it's just so crazy how detailed they were on this sneaker mm -hmm. and uh this shoe had the game in a chokehold like when these came out i vividly remember again back in high school like if you had those you was that guy like mm -hmm. for sure okay what else on this side yes, jordan classic 87s the fly legends uh, the Fly Legend yeah. UNC's. Okay. Did it come with those laces? Yes. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Um, we have some more classic 87's in white. Uh, the Jordan B. Loyals. Low top and high oh, top. I ain't see those in a minute. <laughs> Do the right things. Do the right things. And uh, I don't know why I keep doing this to you. <laughs> keep bringing the orange out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Spiz Ikes, Boots. Yep. Cole Haan. Yeah. And so Jordan. for a period of time, how many years was that? Like 10 years? Eight years? Like a little window. Jordan or Nike owned Cole Haan and they would do special shoes with different Jordans, Nikes, Cole Haans, whatever. What? And you would see these like mm. crazy materials on these boots. Different sneakers over the years. Dad probably know about these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan 6. 60s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
classics. See, wheat. I love sixes and all, but you know, I just don't know if I got it in me. Wheat sixes. I don't know if I got it in me. I have another wheat boot like that, but it's just too tight. It hurt my tip of my toe. Mm. What? I didn't get rid of them though, cause no, I didn't get rid of them because I remember I'm so mad. That they look good, but I couldn't wear them. <laughs> He I remind me of a Superfly right here. OG Superfly. <laughs> he remind me of Superfly. Those are dope. <laughs> this was back when that. the Jordan 2-3 store was out. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Material's good on those. Yeah. So you still be pulling these boots and stuff of out? Of course. Still rock them? I still rock them. I don't care what people say. People probably don't even know. About them. People probably don't even know. Now these are falling apart, so these are done. Hmm. The Stabile. The Jordan, Stabile? Jordan, Jordan Stabile. They just sound classy, right? Right. These was these was these were dope back. I'm pulling them around the corner like Stabile. Yep. Oh, that's high. Yep. But the two-tone ones. Really good. Ooh. High. Those are clean. And they made a black and a green. But see, those don't even look like Jordans. That's what's crazy. Mm. You wouldn't even know. Mm, didn't look at the bottom. Yep. Got those the are bull clean. on there. Well, that's when they was making all the They got the Chicago the Bulls. They had all the jeans yeah. and with pants the, and all, all that, stuff. all that. All the extra baggy nice denim. jackets. All that. Used to be crazy back and then. And again, where I get these from? My little hole in the wall. Yeah. The shoe fair. Hey, bring back the shoe fair. <laughs> Everybody gonna be lined up. Yeah. Okay, Fusions. Fusion. And you, you was not playing with the Fusions. I, I, I like the Fusion. And you spoke these up. Yeah. You spoke these up. Some of them fusions were built better than the regular Jordan. Yeah, I can see that. You know, so. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I have my share with the fusions. The blue ice. Like these. Uh, 12s. Yeah. Gray nurse. Yep. Look at that. Yep. Everybody was going crazy for these. People were going crazy for these gray nurse. Yep. They, they can play if they want to. Yep. They was. I remember that for sure. I, man, I used to have these too. He used to have these. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. The one that uh, I think started for me was the the blue ice 12s. Remember, it was like gray suede with the light blue stitch, mm -hmm. and it had the. You know what I'm talking about? You remember those ones? The fusion. And it was like yeah, and it was like an ice uh, blue outsole with like some orange. I think a little bit of. Oh, these ones. Yeah, yeah, right here. They made some shorts to go with those yep. too. I got the shorts. To yep, go and it has a little bit of orange stitch down the yep. middle. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I think, one of my first ones that I had got during this time. And then they did like the playoffs and the, the taxis and all that stuff. Yep. Then they started going crazy with every model doing the OG colorways. This is the most hated section. This is yeah. a good one, too. Them go hard, too. Again, game in the chokehold. Mm -hmm. This shoe right here. Mm -hmm. This is another one that a lot of people wanted. Interesting. He got L style. It's a motorcycle boot. Okay. And you can see Air Jordan like the perforations yeah. with the with the logo, like, the wings yeah. logo all throughout the upper. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Damn, that's dope. And Spizike winter winterized boots. Those are clutch. Especially living out here. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Damn, man. man. I might need to That's borrow a couple of these fusions for some reviews in the future. I can send ship them the, to you. Send you the ship them back. Send the shipping label. Yeah. I might have to do it. Yeah. You need to review them. Yeah. Remember, remember the movie? Yeah. My man's shoes got stepped yep. on. Yeah. Cements. So they did these three, but they didn't do the fire reds. So they did three of the four OG fours in the Fusion colorway, but then they didn't do the fire red. And then they did some other models like these OG colorway, different stuff. So certain models, they did OG like taxi, playoff, different mm -hmm. stuff with different models um, over the years, charcoal nines, tens, crazy. So we've come to the end. Yes, sir. The final chapter of the last episode, even though we haven't unturned every stone we made it pretty far i feel like we did pretty good we try <laughs> there's, there's still some more to go um do you have any other last things you want to show or any things you want to say before we get out of here you can just pan over to them those are the packs there okay 
CDP packs. CDP packs over okay. there. And uh, some of the other team shoes. Okay. Hat packs over here from Champs. So, uh, that they they gifted me. Gatorade bottles, original in the corner. I still got mine too. Over there. Um, that's about it. You know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot to take in with with one visit. Yeah. You know, I appreciate you coming through, showing me love, and with SneakerCon coming here to Detroit. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. But um, man, I appreciate this. So now it's my turn. Yes, sir. I think that I don't know if I can say for everybody, but I know for myself in particular. Like I've seen your videos from way back. I've seen the collection, obviously us being the same size, like all the different things over the years. But I vividly remember like the 23 is back days and like obviously even before Nike talk, ISS, Soul Collector, all the different things. Mm -hmm. But I remember that era of like seeing people's collections and then stuff being presented on the internet and all those times. Like, like I said, I started like seriously collecting 2006, seven and eight, like really building up my collection as a kid in high school. And it was just dope seeing like, this could be a thing mm -hmm. and not just like, dreaming of something i didn't, couldn't picture or whatever so i think your collection has helped build so many collections around not even the country but probably the world right mm. of all the things that you've done with just being a collector yourself sharing your passion for shoes and because of that it's gotten me here to this place too like Man, you've been a part it. of my journey and helped me out and i'm sure probably part of his i don't know if my dad saw you on the internet back in the day but either way like i'm sure you guys have other things that you align with as well so I want to represent the sneakerheads of my generation and say thank you no. for all the things that you have done. Give you your flowers as well because it's just dope to see these collections and go through and hear the stories and see all the eras and the generations. And that's what I love about collecting too, like having multiples, breads. All right, cool. I want every single version of this. I want every single one and just having my time and my memories with them as well. Appreciate that. Yeah. Means a lot. Yeah. It's, uh, it's always been dope to see the... The transition of the collection over the years and the boxes on the shelves and everything just stacked up yeah and and how it used to yeah. be with the photos on the boxes yep. and stuff yeah seeing those times like yeah. i remember seeing that stuff uh before i got into like social media and everything like that so a lot of people miss that yeah but i like this you gotta yeah. evolve yeah. yeah you gotta change with the For times sure. and this was more feasible mm -hmm. you know it took it takes up less room you can get more in the room than i could with the boxes mm -hmm. and the racks so that's what's up well i'm excited to see where the collection goes mm -hmm. and i think uh i could definitely say you're one of the reasons why i'm like i want a thousand pair of shoes in my collection like i've seen some collections with a thousand pair in them and they've all been curated differently mm -hmm. but Either way, I'm like, I can't say that you aren't one of those people that helped me feel that fire to say, oh, one day I'm gonna get a thousand pairs in my collection. Whether it goes up and down over the years, like, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there in my due time. So I'm excited for my journey. I'm excited for your journey. Everybody continue to watch him. You got a, uh, we'll, we'll link everything down below. You yeah, want I'm anything to get particular to, you wanna hit or anything you wanna I'm do? I'm trying to get to 100,000. 100K so I can get on. My plaque. Okay, 100 k on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, I'm we gotta get it to 100 k 96? Oh yeah. Hit I'm the close. subscribe button on his channel. I'm we'll close. make sure everything is linked and tagged at the end of every single video. And then obviously we got sneaker con and all this stuff. So yep. we'll probably I'll see you in that as well. I'll but. be there. I have one thing for you to do. You know I was a part of the, encyc okay. the, the encyclopedia of Air Jordans, right? Okay. That was based on my collection. Really? So I have a book and whoever comes to my basement, I have them sign the Dope. page in the book okay. that their favorite shoe is. And okay. yours is the sixes. Six so I need you to sign on the page for Dope. the sixes. All right, let's do it. So let me grab yeah. it. Yeah, this, this collection has done, I feel like so much for so many collectors over the years. Like again, for me, I, I saw so many times where I'll be like, yo, there's this dude, he's got this basement full of <laughs> shoes. And then like you become older as an adult and then you meet and become friends and everything. It's just cool. This is it. That's crazy. This book was based on uh, my collection. A lot of the pictures in this book are from my collection. If you turn a lot of signatures in here. That's dope. If you look through it. Those are pictures that are lined up. The mellow twos. Other people are in here too, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But that's dope. Yeah. So 
I'll go to the great eights. Yes, sir. We'll go to the sixes and you can sign on whatever page you feel you want to. Ooh, we got options. Yeah. Okay. There's I won't, I won't take too long. If you got infrared sixes or carmines, I'm go. done. Oh, that's on the same page. There they go. <sighs> Let me do it right here. You we're got gonna, signed too, Dad. We're going to do the... This is a tough one. I'm going to do it right here because we can see it with the gray. Yes, sir. Yes. That's it. We're Put the date there. for me, please. Oh, what is the date? 26. 26. 4? April 26. 4? 26. 26. 24. Appreciate it. Dope. We're stamped in. We made it, y'all. Locked in the basement. We made it. Sign we got to get y'all to sign, too. Yes. yes. Definitely. All right, let's get them. Let me, I'll hold your camera. You gonna unplug? Unless you feel like it's a little light. <laughs> Why does it look like that color? That's crazy. That's called false color. Mm. That's how you tell what's exposed, right? Mm. And then that's what you'll actually see. Oh, shoot. Okay, I that's dope. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite model? I like the ones. This is so sick. Oh, man. So. I don't know which ones you like, the Chicago, Me and Chase been Colle <laughs> shooting collections <laughs> around the country. Man, for real. Stop. You're up next. I ain't been shooting around the country like y'all. <laughs> but I helped him get here. That's right. <laughs> He's like, you came from my sack. <laughs> I'm a five guy. I want to start with the five. Let's see where we go. There right you here. go. It's about this far back. Oh, it's way back. That's three. I'll do fives or elevens, but I don't want to do the fives. Less people do fives. There's oh, the yeah. fives. Oh, yeah. Laney's. Is that Raging Bull? Was that the Raging Bull right there? Oh, the red suede? Yeah. That's his one. If they got those. Yep, right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. <sighs> What's the, uh, today date? What's it? 4, 26, 24. Just so much love. Keep doing All it. All right. Thank you. All Appreciate right. you. I'm glad y'all stopped and, by. And you closer my era. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's the hard part. And that's a good thing where I can, we, we can relate and, pe and understand why I buy what I like. The younger generation well, don't necessarily understand I got hurt in the Adidas. That. I wore the Converse. All that. And then See? they came out with the See? Jays. We got hurt less. Everything right. else had a better time. Right. So oh, we have it. similar stories. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Tore my ankle up in the Oh, uh, them Adidas tore me up. <laughs> so I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> now, I might wear them Ant-Mans. Yeah. That's my new player right there. Anthony Edwards. That's my anyway, now, he's raw, though. Yeah. He, he's going to be something else ridiculous. Yeah. But anyway, I wasn't trying to take a good time. I appreciate yes, you having us in here. Yes, sir. Anytime. And thanks for letting me sign the book. No doubt. So I'm out. <laughs> You're at the outro. <laughs> I didn't know the outro. Y'all got that. All right. Oh, shoot. Y'all, no, like I said, I'm excited to be a part of the whole journey, too. <laughs> Thanks for watching this three part series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, if this is your first episode that you've seen, make sure you guys go back and watch episode one and episode two. I'll have those linked for you at the end of this video. And if you wanna see more when it comes to the Sneak Inside series where we go to collections around the world, I'll have that full playlist linked down below in the description for you guys as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in another one. I would never let you down and send my DNA. Hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down and send my DNA.